It's the story everyone's talking about. A key player on Purdue's football team is involved in a nationwide investigation. GoToBlack.com is reporting Purdue quarterback Robert Marv, one of 72 current and former University of Miami football players, implicated in a new Yahoo Sports report. This is big. Alan Karpik of Golden Black Illustrated joins us now. GoToBlack.com as well. Alan, what kind of shockwaves is this sending through Purdue camp? Well, I think it's gotten their attention, obviously. Anytime you have a former player that's uh, they are a, a former player from the University of Miami, now current player Purdue, and Robert Marv uh, involved in something like this, you don't know all the details yet because it's just allegations based on a, on, a, on the Yahoo report, but it doesn't look good, and it certainly has Purdue's attention. If it doesn't now, it will in the very near, near future. Now, he was a starting quarterback last year. These allegations, they transfer along with the player from Miami to Purdue. Uh, how could that affect Purdue maybe in the past, also in the future? Well, and the allegations we're talking about really have to do with, with uh, uh, when he was at the University of mm -hmm. Miami and accepting gifts uh, and, and that type of things and being involved in some other activities outside of the NCAA rules. If, in fact, these are proven to be true, and that's uh, certainly a ways down the road, Purdue could potentially have to, uh, and, and that if Marv is called ineligible, could have to uh, forfeit a football game, the win last year against Western Illinois. Again, that may be the cart a little bit ahead of the horse in this yeah. situation, but it is a serious situation, and this story is the talk of not only college sports, but the entire sporting world right now because of the, uh, the report and all the allegations against the University of Miami team. And remember, Robert Marv spent a couple of years at the University of Miami before coming to Purdue. Right. And the, the laundry list, the gifts he received, drinks and VIP access to uh, strip clubs, also nightclubs food, drink, entertainment, the, the list goes on. What kind of black eye could this give to Purdue's football program going down the road? Well, I think you have to separate the two from the fact that this is something that Robert supposedly did before he was at Purdue, but you still don't want to have that type of attention. Yeah, yeah. And Purdue, we've talked about this time and again, this is something that's very foreign to Purdue athletics for the most part. So you don't want the distraction also if you're Danny Hope getting ready for the 2011 season. At the least, this will be a distraction to the football team and it'll test Purdue Purdue and its ability not only to deal with this problem, but also the team to deal with the distraction as it moves forward. Because you remember, Robert Mars nurse, nursing a knee injury, right. not really suited to play necessarily uh, in the early part of this season, and this could impact all of that. Is he done as a boiler? Would he shut him down, you think, even if he is healthy? If this ends up being what it seems, uh, I, I would say so. But uh, again, it may be a little bit early to go that far just yet. You have to ho hope for Purdue's sake that they can get this resolved and get this behind them no matter what the situation is. Okay. Alan, appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're Thanks welcome. for joining us. Good? Okay. Good job. Thank you.